Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on this light and just in general. Um, I've been a little busy just doing stuff, working. Um, there's My mom has some family in town. I got my wisdom teeth removed last week. Like, it's a lot, a lot has happened. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, well, two weeks since I've removed since. So, um, today I just want to give you guys kind of like an account review because I still have been playing. It's just recording is a lot harder because I need to take time so that nobody is talking to me within that period so I can just record and finish. I just accidentally dropped one of the AirPods. Um, and then, yeah, it's really just to record for you guys. Um, and it really does take me, like, I just have to be by myself. So, um, we got three legendary aspers. Uh, in a very short span of time, um, uh, Valeria was the one that we were debating on whether getting or not because we wanted an R2 Brewster. We did not get the R2 Brewster, but it's pretty easy to get R2 Brewster. Um, and it seems like with the update after this one they're gonna um have a different wish pool just in general uh like this wish pool here like because this is basically the same thing um but this is to espers that you don't have so they're gonna basically like you choose an esper basically out of very similar to this but it looked like more like there was a list and like you could see them all up front and then just click on the one you want. Um, whereas the wish draw is literally just, you get it, right? Because it's the 100 wish stone, so you just get him, right? Yeah, okay, 100% chance. It is a 21 day cooldown, so maybe the other rezo pool, which I hope it's not, there's no cooldown. Because you're just buying espers that you already have. Um, and it really, all those wish stones, uh, are coming from your golden draw or your uh, golden record draw. So really it depends on that. Um, I also got Valeria because I have 34 wish stones. So I think I still like, I just need 66 more, which seems like a lot, but that's like maybe two legendary aspers and like a ton of epics in between. So I think it's still doable for me to get um, Jiao to Lian if I want to. Uh, she's not super important. Neither was Valeria whatsoever. But there's just something about getting new espers and completing my account that I realized that's another reason why I'm playing this game. Because I really like the individual characters, their abilities, um, and just collecting them in total. And it seems like now that we have three different resonance pools... And so far, I don't need to, like, resonance. Like, yes, it would be very great for my account if all my espers were resonanced up. However, I don't need it right now because, like, I would only be able to get one specific res one rezo on one esper. Um, or two if I didn't get Valeria and Leo, Leanne 2 or, or, sorry, Jiao 2 or Leanne. Um, but then I wouldn't have those characters. It would be much harder to get them. I would just have to get them from the wish pool. So it'd be a hundred percent chance, but I'd have to wait 21 days between each. Um, and yeah, I could still get them from golden records, but so there it's very hard to just like choose what es like get an Esper that you want. Um, so yeah, I really think that I should just get every new Esper that comes out. Maybe it won't be the most efficient way of collecting Espers, but it is, the best way of collecting all the espers as fast as you can because if I didn't get Valeria last before the period ended um, two days ago, I would not be able to get Valeria basically unless I did it from the Wish Resonance pool or um, I got lucky on a gold golden record draws, uh, which wouldn't matter because even if I got her from there, like. It's just a waste of a legendary draw. And if I got her from the Rezo pool, it's a waste of 100 wish stones. So I just decided, you know what? I'm just going to bite the bullet, get use, spend all my wish stones because I was saving up for her anyway. Um, 
like I do for every update, I just try and get at least one legendary, the legendary Esper. I can get all the epics. Those are super easy to get. Um, so far, thus far, they've been very easy to get, but <laughs> that could change in the future. And uh, the legendaries are just a little harder to get. You have to basically consistently play every day, grind, um, just to get enough wish stones, free to play this is, um, to get Quizcoddle and um, Xiao Tu, like just all the new espers that they're releasing. Because uh, for some of them, like it all started for me, like so here, we can actually, so let's not even look at this real quick. Let's just go to Esper's. Um, and then this is like how I have acquired them. So really, let's just go all the way back to like, so yeah, I got all these guys. So the Sun Wukong, you get like, you get three legendary Esper's to choose from. I forgot what it was. Um, but yeah, so basically I just got him for free. He's, he's not that hard to get. You get one free legendary Esper. And then Falcon was my second, like, well, was an epic Esper. So he was, like, the second character I was really using. Um, I did not use Chichu Yi, which is very interesting because, um, you know, the black twins and the white twins are, like, super pop. I, I, like, I don't know why, but just, like, around this time in the game, like, I was starting out, so I just did not have a... I wasn't, like, super into the game as I am now, so I wasn't really trying to grind as hard um the awesome thing is though i got ta like that was my second legendary esper which is insane um and then ophelia that doesn't matter i didn't use hathor i got geb so after like a few gold record draws uh like i was it was you were s i don't know if the chances were different back then but it was just really easy to get legendaries um because this was like within the first two or three weeks, I had four legendary espers. And I really just needed um, to get raw, which I eventually got. And then I had the five-star team um, of legendary espers. And the reason, you know, I did that is because legendary espers are cool. Like, the best rarity of heroes are always going to be the coolest to collect. Like, that's just a thing that happens with most games. Um... Yeah, and then, you know, you just build up your collection after that. I didn't use Ollie or Hyde because I didn't really have any use for them. I did build them up. Like, I built them up because I'm not using the equipment or the uh, materials for anything else, which is kind of bad on my part. I should have just been using it on Epic Espers and not uh, Resolved, or sorry, Ascended or leveled up my um, Legendary Espers that I'm not using, but... Now that I'm much further into the game, it's much more useful to have those legendary espers rather than the epic espers because back then all my epic espers weren't as high resonance. So I couldn't tell whether I was going to be using this esper the entire like long term because um, the legendaries are just so much better. And like, I just didn't know. Of course, some epic units are like, you know, universal, but like Asenath and Alice, like those are, sorry, yeah, Alice and Asenath, they're, they're just so good. And Anisador, like, I know that's three Shimmer Espers right there, but like, yeah, you know, there's some, like, uh, Unki Chai is a rare Esper, he's a Inferno Esper, he's pretty easy to get, pretty easy to max out, but he's so good um, at just what he does, it's insane. Uh, then you got Beyond the, Beyond the Poseidon, I don't use her, really. Uh, which I know there's somewhere to use her, but I have to I have to build her specifically. Nyx Elaine, I used her a lot. You guys have like I started recording a lot when I got Nyx and um, what's her name Elaine or Nyx and uh, Athena Elaine and Leora. So I maxed her out because I had her at R two. I think by the end of the um, Athena and Nyx events, the dual legendary Esper event. Um, and that's the reason I didn't get Pata, I believe, or whatever Epic Esper was. There. Was it with Kaharo? I don't remember. Oh, I think it was Uday, actually. Mm, I don't I don't remember. No, I don't think it was Uday. Was it? Maybe. I, I don't remember. Um. So, yeah, I just maxed her out. Um, I didn't really need to, but she's definitely better at maxed out. And it definitely helped me. It's like, it was the best help for Celestial Anomaly. So really, it was just a happy accident. 
Um, because you really don't need to in- uh, max out her abilities. There's really no reason. Uh, until you like you're actually using her. I would say R four because. You know, um, she gets extra crit damage, so you can really like she becomes an insanely good. She's already good DPS, but now she becomes insanely good DPS. Um, R two is okay. It's it's whatever. It, you can build some strategies with it, like if you use Parmy, um, some other characters that use sleep, in uh, Cube Miracle because you can get the sleep debuff on all the enemies at the start of the match, and if you have enough speed. Nyx can really do some damage. Um, and it doesn't really matter because she inflicts sleep before she attacks. And like during she, while she's attacking, during any of her attacks. So she will inst- she will already ignore the defense on her attacks anyway. It's just um, for her basic because she can still wake them up on her basic, I believe, right? Oh, no, because it's part of it's, it's just a passive thing. Elaine's attacks, yeah. I don't understand why it's on her first kill, which is very interesting. Um, because she has like these two passive things, but so does uh, Athena. Um, I mean they both have that, dun, dawn glow, dust glow. So yeah. Um, so really here is when my legendary team really exploded. So up until that point, I had one, two, three, four. I had nine legendary espers. Which is a lot, um, but they weren't like the most useful because I already had characters that were better suited for the places that I needed them. Um, until I got Nyx and Elaine, so Nyx, Elaine, uh, Athena, Leor, because they're so good uh, together. Like you can just read their abilities; they're insanely broke. They just extend their uh, buffs. So N- Elaine is invisible for longer, and Athena is. Um, indestructible for longer oh no she only gains invinci- sorry, in the invincibility for two turns so it's the war goddess so she amplifies her damage with higher crit rates uh, and then she gives shields for crit so it, I guess it's, it makes her more support ish fighter but yeah interesting so yeah really Nyx and Elaine were the support fighters and they were cool but they were definitely not worth the mm-mm. $200 I spent <laughs> the atrocious amount of money that maybe a lot of people spent. Um, I didn't spend a lot, but I spent a decent amount. Like 200 is nothing. Like people can spend 10 K on this game and not have everything maxed out. Like that's, that's how insane it is. Um, I don't know the actual math, but yeah. So yeah, once I got a Nyx, I was like, all right, well now I got to get Athena. Well, cause she was free. Nyx, everyone got for free. If you were there during the event, um, maybe you have to spend some currency. I forgot whether it was gold or uh, Nexus crystals to uh, continue the event because I was late. So I had to refresh or whatever, whatever currency you could use. Um, but I really had to rush to get her. But then I got her and I was pretty set. And then I realized, wait, she is kind of bad by herself. Like she's okay by herself, but with... Leora, she just becomes a thousand times better. Like, so much better. Basically, I don't need to R6 her. She becomes... Well, I mean, having her R6 would be insane. Um, Because then she basically will always transfer one debuff from each ally upon a crit. And with her kit, that is literally every attack she does. And it is ridiculous. Um... Yeah, and then just a passive enemy miss rate of 10% for the entire... Like, you only get it for, like, three turns. Because I think she gets Nine Goddess for two turns. But she usually... She has less speed than Athena. Or that's the way I build her. So she gains stealth for longer. She's on the Night Goddess for longer. Um, yeah, and then she just basically supports your team. Um, and then Athena really is just there to keep your team alive and be a mini AoE tank at the beginning. So yeah, and then uh, before I got the Athena though, I got Brewster, so that was pretty lucky draw, because I didn't get him during this event. I was nowhere near close to having enough wish stones. I wasn't. My account was nowhere near where I am now, where I can basically get a legendary Esper through wish stones every new update, which is good, because that's kind of how the game works. Um, 
in terms of updates where if you want to get the new stuff, you have to wait till the next update. So that's good because I bear I'm just barely like there. Um, yeah, and then I finally got Athena and then, you know, I got all these other espers. Um, and then, yeah, and then it started to kick off after that because I could use Athena and Leora and switch them around and stuff in my team. Uh, and then I got Ashley, and that just really like that was just such a god pull. Um, I didn't really use Amunet and Chiyu, uh, Jang Jilu or Zora because they're good, but you need specific builds for them. And I didn't have the right equipment for Amunet, uh, and I still had a Brewster. Like a Brewster is just like for my account was so good because I had Heimdall and I had Nyx in the lane, so they were all about crit uh and ap stuff like it was just it's so good um just way too much synergy for me to pass up on maxing those characters out and using them over other characters just because of how my account was um sally oh yeah and did, also this is not entirely accurate because i did have um what's her name alexa and uh i had i'm pretty sure i got what's his name I got Horus to like R4, but this was like back like t like a year or like a really long time ago when you were able to use your Epic Espers as um, basically uh, uh, Starmions. Like it was crazy. You were able to use your Epic Espers as Starmions to uh, basically rank up your Espers to get them to not rank. Well, I guess next star level, so six star them. Uh, which was insane. I didn't even know that that was possible. Um, but they changed the game, how it works a lot, like a really long time ago. <laughs> so now it doesn't work like that. But yeah, I gave up my um, Aphrodite. I gave up my... Um, that Esper that you bought. I forgot her name. Uh, not Clara. What's her name? Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I can never forget the... I can, oh, there we go. A uh, Freya. So Era... Um, I got her actually to R, well, she's at R6 right now, but I got her to R2 when I first had her because you could buy her like five bucks. Like that kit that you got. It was, this is like such a long time ago. You probably, most of you guys are probably not going to remember. Um, but if you've been playing since the beginning of the game, then you definitely will. Um, because everyone had Freya at the beginning because it was just like the starter pack that they gave you. But, um, yeah, I had her, Aphrodite, and Horus pretty like close to level maxed out but then i just ate them because i was like i'm not getting enough uh starmions to you know star up all my legendary espers so i'll just eat these epic espers which i wasn't using anymore because i already had like four uh or five legendary espers whatever it was but uh yeah that that was sad times because i got rid of epic espers that are really good now <laughs> that i could have used uh, of course, I still have Alexa and Aphrodite maxed out, but Freya, if I still had her maxed out, I could have been using her now. Um, so that would have been nice. And I probably would have had her max resonance again as well. Um, okay, yeah, and then obviously Sally Sif was from the tower, uh, which they changed the Infinity Tower. Now, like, I got her right before they changed it. You can still get her from there, but it's a little... It's still 100 floors, but it's a little different how the tower works. Um... But yeah, I remember, like, it just took me forever to get her. But I, when I finally got her, I was like, okay, cool. Like, yeah, she's cool. She's she's okay. Um, because I already had Claw. Oh no, I didn't have Claw. Interesting. But I got Claw right afterwards. So I think once I got Claw, I was like, Psh, what's the point of using Sally if I don't have her? Well, she does give attack and recovery, which is pretty nice. But the O2 Joy, the sweet harvest thing, is just so annoying because she literally takes no turns and when Lilith Games is making half of the shit in the game, like, turn-based. It really sucks that you basically just lose turns. Like, yeah, your allies take 25 less damage. I'd rather just use Tyr, then. Because at least he can attack or counterattack. So I can at least get some damage off whilst mitigating damage. Um, she does dispel one debuff and heal them, so that's still pretty nice, but... Really, she's mostly for tanky meta, and I really had no, no like, I was mostly offensive in the, on, like, I had Ashley, Nixelane, uh, some Wukong, uh, TA, like, 
freaking raw. Like I just had a ton of legendary espers and epic espers that that were all well, mostly legendary. They were maxed out and and a little bit of speed cleave. So yeah, and then once I got Hera, the speed cleave was like pretty much settled with TA. Um. Yeah, and then you know she's she's one of the best like sup- top I would say top five supports because AP push heal immunity, um, shield like it's just so good. Um, and then dispelling debuffs like it's what else do you want a support to do? Like this is literally everything that you need a support to do. You could change the shield for something else, but it's good that she changes her healing into shield because. A lot of supports you kind of uh, can like just not miss the healing, but it's it doesn't really matter because your uh, teammates are already or your allies are already at full health, so you kind of just waste the healing potential. Uh, but with Clara, she just gives you a shield, so it's just it's just so nice. Like it's it's so broken that she turns all over because you can give her the Panacea set like I have, and she will just turn all of that into shield and even she'll heal a little bit like if your characters are like at 75 or 60 percent she'll basically heal them to full and then give them like a very small sliver of shield which is still really good so it's just insane um yeah and then immunity is extended so you get immunity for what four turns what wait no no way uh you need to mute to allies without debuffs for one. Okay, so it's a three turn. Oh wow, that's insane. So that's basically like Gabrielle, um, which is what you want. But yeah, immunity extended to oh, it's extended. Okay, so it's just two turns of immunity, but that's fine. And then get, grants base defense plus twenty percent to allies with shield. I guess this is good with uh Chang Chang G, whatever his name is. Um Yeah, I, I don't know about the defense. The defense is nice, but it, it doesn't do much unless you have, you're built, your team is built for it. Um, and then Queen's Blessing. Healing changed to three times. I'm assuming that's her first. Yeah. So heals three allies. Prioritizes allies with the lowest HP percentage. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, she, she was a really good addition. To, that's why I was talking about her a little bit, because she was... Uh, I obviously got Aphrodite way before this because I ate or fed her to one of my legendary espers. But uh, I'm glad I got her back to R6 and maxed out because that's pretty good. Um, and then eventually I realized, because um, I forgot when they released the update, but they started to, like, it was a little bit, I think, like the update after Nyx and Elaine came out, um, they started basically having these legendary espers. But I wasn't going after them because... Um, I didn't have Abilamons, I didn't have Starmions, and I didn't have a lot of Experimons. So I wasn't really going for them. I kind of just acquired them because they were free to get. And then uh, I started maxing them out after that. Because it was like, once you get one, it's pretty easy to keep going. I have like this stupid cat claw marks on my sweater and I don't like it. Stupid cat. So cute, but so annoying. Um. So yeah, that's really the only reason I got him. Um, and then I realized how broken they were. <laughs> Apollo with TA is basically just uh, enemy team does not take turn, and you take a turn. That's you. You basically unleash all of your abilities, and you can pretty much like reset because of all the stun, and go again. So perpetually, your the enemy team takes no turns unless they resist or you know there's always stupid shenanigans. Um, even though you know this character has eighty five percent accuracy, like I gave him a hundred percent accuracy. Don't do that. It literally does not matter. Accuracy is one of the stupidest things in this game. It it's it doesn't matter whatsoever because there's resist and there's miss. Like because of those two things, it makes accuracy pretty much useless uh, you still want to have a decent amount because if you don't have enough then uh elemental advantage really comes into play <laughs> which you don't want um so yeah i mean like getting apollo was basically like another this basically getting camilla and apollo was the next 
yeah, the next like push to my account because now I had, well, first Apollo because of TA. So both of them were basically just insanely good. This is before the TA update, by the way, because uh, we haven't gotten to Mateo. And I, of course, the only way to get him was at the beginning of the Celestial Anomaly event. And uh, that was recent. So it was also before the, the uh, balances to TA. So still with TA beforehand, he was insanely good. Um, and the reason why they're so good together is because they both have a chance of dispelling one. Well, TA is like almost guaranteed, but Lucas is basically, uh, it's not guaranteed. It's a 50% chance and it's only, well, it's each hit. It's three times. So it's almost guaranteed. Um, you can basically spell three, dispel three D or four debuffs in total from each enemy. If every single one of your attacks lands, hits, and procs, and um, TA lands all of her hits, which is insane because basically any team with Gabrielle or like, I don't know, any team that just like is tanky and has a lot of shield, defense, recovery, like buffs, just instantly strip them all. And basically now you can just speed cleave them um, with, with, of course, TA and Apollo because that's how it works. So just really broken. Um, and then, yeah, I got Mateo because you basically need him for the beginning of the Celestial Anomaly uh, not sure if that'll hold up. Hopefully it does because some people spend money to get him and it's really sad that they ruin like people getting characters, like just the satisfaction of getting a character because they decide to change something up. Um, like we already knew it was a problem, but now that it's a problem, you can't go back because you're basically making Mateo useless after that. He's not useful in like literally any other content. You could, you, cause you need a, like, like most people, most YouTubers say, you need to build around him. You need to build a team for him in order for him to really shine. Uh, this is mostly Nyx and uh, Gab Ahmed because they work really well with him. Um, as you've seen in the Celestial Anomaly, but just in general, they work really well. Um, but yeah, it, I don't know. He's not really useful anywhere else. He was a little bit helpful in um, Fafnir for me. But other than that, he really doesn't do much on my account other than Celestial Anomaly. So I really hope they don't take him off of the win. Like, I really hope they keep the list pretty much the same. Um, maybe add a few different win desp Like, I don't know. Because it was pretty, pretty fine, I would say. Because you want each tower to have their own uniqueness so it's fine if each like there's a lot of of one faction for the espers that were in that uh category for the celestial anomaly but uh yeah they i don't think they should like change it around or at least take off the characters like Havid, um valeria and mateo because those characters like people who got them got them for that reason and if you take that off, you're basically making that draw completely useless. Unless they have R2, Valeria. Um, I don't think it really matters for Mateo and Havid. But yeah, it's just something to keep in mind, Lilith Games. Keep the Celestial Anomaly pretty much the same. There's like a few things you need to change. Um, like the speed of what you get, the uh, Divine Essence. Like You need to increase the speed of that because you can't max out before each new phase and it sucks because then you can't like get the highest score possible because it's not maxed out because it, it you just can't grind that fast so yeah just just don't just don't change the like the legendary esper types for imprisoner um judge and whatever the other one was um Embla is not doing much on my account, but she's doing a lot more than Mateo, that's for sure. Um, she's actually pretty useful in like just PvE, like tower content, um, because you can really ramp up with the Corrupted Seed, uh, and it has AP, like she gains 30% AP. She, you want crit on her, so she works well with Ashley. Uh, so yeah, it, she's just pretty useful on my team, and she's really good. Getting into R2 will be really nice, but yeah. Um, 
and that that's you know uh, of course I'm gonna max her out. Jin Yao finally got her eventually, and really she hasn't been that useful. I think I have to resil her or get better equipment for her, or really just max out her abilities, um, so that I can use her reliably in APEP because I'm still struggling in APEP. I haven't beaten APEP fourteen difficulty fourteen or sixteen whatsoever. Kronos is super easy because that's the first boss. It was pretty easy. And apparently Fafnir, I'm on 15. So very interesting. Havid, I really just got for... I, I literally didn't do not need him. Like, he's been really nice to have just because the Judgment Seal with all my Speed Cleave is so good. Uh, but yeah, that's that's literally all he's useful for is Speed Cleave. Um... And then because I have Camille and she has the bleed dots, um, oh well, she has the seer. Sorry, not the bleed dots. That that's something else. So the seer, um, we I can basically double seer the team, um, which is insanely good. And it, it's just he's just really good for speed cleave. That's literally all I use him for. But other than that, he's he's not that useful. Um, defense down is pretty good. But the judgment needs to be afflicted with it, they need to be afflicted with judgment seal. So your second skill has to give the judgment seal pretty much. Um because by the time you get to your basic, your ultimate with the judgment seal, they, they won't be on the enemies anymore. Um his disease is fine. Um so that's like nice because you can use him in like APEP or just like other content similar. Not really in APEP. I don't think he's that useful, but yeah, um, Intasar, I got her just, you know, out of the blue. She's good for APEP. That's really all I've been using her for. Sorry, not APEP. Uh, Kronos, Kronos, Kronos. So she's good for Kronos, but other than that, I don't, like, really use her because I don't have any other uses for her. So, yeah, um, she's pretty good, though, at R2 when she gives all your teammates attack up. But... By herself, she's a good she's good by herself too, but I don't know. The enemy devos plus one turn. Very good for her second skill. Uh I'd rather see it on the basic, but I guess it's fine. Um, because she she does have the miss rate up. So honestly, using her, I, I kinda wanna use her for um the the Lian or Jiao 2 event because I was using like the debuff team. Like we'll we'll see we'll see in a sec we'll see in the next video. Um but yeah, she is interesting, but I don't have much uses for her now, but I think she's still really good on my account. Yamato, I got him because I like I got enough keepsakes and, you know, for, for shits and giggles, as they say, <laughs> um, I literally don't use him. I use him in the, the Celestial Anomaly as just a uh, standard, like I probably, I would, I'd rather use Ophelia, but the only reason I use him is because he gives attack up. To all my uh, allies, and that's that's really the only reason. And he lands a crit, I guess, but he's not he's not useful in Celestial. Not like he's really much one of the worst. Uh, mm, he might be the worst legendary Esper in the game. He's just not good. Like his kit is okay, like the way it's built, but they just need to give him a lot more passive ability, like. They just need to make him stronger. He's just so weak right now. Um, the Nornir sisters or Fatim sisters. Uh, very useful to my account for a uh, Kronos. But other than that, I don't really use... I use her in the PvP because I have like an AP team that kind of just doesn't let the enemy team take their turn. Even if they're not stunned because there's a lot of resistant PvP. It's just how uh, tanky comps are built. Doesn't matter. Because... Uh, they can resist like debuffs, but AP is a little bit different. It's more reliant on uh, elemental advantage, I believe. Yeah, they can still miss, but uh, with all the AP, like I have three different factions. I don't have Shimmer AP control, but I do have every faction with AP control. So really good for PvP, um, but mostly for Kronos. Like that's really all I use her for. Ares, um, he's been pretty like decent, just like as a character. But I think I just need to get him the right equipment and uh, max out his abilities. 
for him to be really useful for me. But right now he's he's okay. He's basically just a kill confirm, which I have enough of. Um, and with speed cleave, you don't really need kill confirm. Plus, it's really bad in this game to just kill one character. Um, because you really want to get rid of the entire enemy team. That's just kind of how this game works. But uh, it is useful when you're like against a really tanky comp and you're try just trying to kill the one Esper that's holding the entire team together so that you can dismantle it slowly. Um, but it, it takes a lot more manual fighting and uh, just like skill and knowing when to activate abilities when. So it's just a lot more work, in my opinion. Um, and then, yeah. Now we're at the end. So I got Gabrielle maxed her out because she's going to be insanely good for all my speed cleave teams because she attacks a lot. Um, she's going to be great in Celestial Anomaly because she, she has a defense down. Well, just in general. Uh, and then defense up and immunity. I guess it's fine. The immunity is better. She'll be great in, uh, in APEP, actually. So I'll be using a decent amount of characters in APEP. Um, Valeria, I got her again. Uh, for shits and giggles, cause I can R resonance her up now, cause I I decided to just get all the new as many new characters as possible because I can always just resonance them up if I don't want the next legendary esper. Um, but for the most part, I just want to get all the legendary espers I can. I'll basically get one legendary esper per. And if I like, yes, I could just wait and get like higher resos. But my account really doesn't need the resos right now. It needs me to be more proactive in um, equipment grinding and uh, building so that I can just make my equipment super strong and then just leveling up the abilities of my espers. That's really all I need to do right now. Uh, and then I got Ethan. I was so happy. I literally did one gold record after I got... Um, after I got some gold records, I was like, you know what? Let me let me just see if I can get anything good. And uh, yeah, I I got a legendary like instantly. So now I have ninety nine draws left to go to get another one. But um, yeah, this guy is gonna be insanely good because I already have speed cleave, and he's very good for the speed cleave meta. And he's very good specifically against the speed cleave meta because we got Ashley, who is a very good speed cleave because, um. She can reduce AP or increase your team's AP. And uh, with Ethan, you can kind of mitigate Ashley's effects, which is really good. And um, TA's effects, when she gives all her allies plus 30, um, they, like, Pan is just so good against so many supports. Um, Norner Sisters give plus 10 AP, uh, per percent AP. What's her name? Hera, Clara, she gives plus 20 percent ap to all like it and then like passively like brewster he gains ap because Cotto gains ap uh sorry valeria gains ap like it, it's just so broken that's all i can say uh, it only triggers once per turn but that's still a lot <laughs> um so yeah i'm just really happy that i got him because he's gonna be insanely great for my account and i'm gonna max him up before valeria which is why i stopped actually maxing her out and now i'm just going after pan because I won't have any use for Valeria until I R2 her, like most people. But I just wanted to get her because I probably won't be able to get her unless I go to the wish pool. Anyway, I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Really shows your support. Helps me out. Keeps you up to date with my content. 98 subscribers and going strong last time I checked. We're two away from 100. Um, I was thinking of doing a video soon um hopefully i can do that sooner rather than later but yes we're gonna do a 100 subscribers special obviously we have to um and really i'm gonna try and open a patreon and there i will be putting all my videos uh for early release just fyi um uh, but yeah as always thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys uh Hopefully tomorrow, because I don't have a lot going on tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's just been a little hectic these past two weeks. Uh, but it should pretty much slow down for a week or two. And then after that, I have to...
well not well slow down for me but not for post i can probably post more videos but uh then after that it'll slow down a little bit because i do have to work a lot um the second week of august weekend the second weekend of august and then i go back to school and i can post some more videos after that so yeah um thank you guys for watching as always and i will see you guys later